This video is based on a feature called the Five Minute Sermon, which appeared in the Catholic Advance in 1906. It was syndicated in Catholic newspapers throughout the country, and I believe, but I am not certain, that it originated in the Denver Diocese. This particular five minute sermon was entitled, How to Be Masters of Ourselves. Philippians says, For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame, who mind earthly things. Sensuality is the bane of man's existence. The domination of the passions over reason is the source of his greatest misery. Every passion, says St. Ambrose, is of slavery because it subjects man to an unjust and tyrannical bondage. The present, or at least the ultimate unhappiness of the creature, is wrecked unless he resists the attacks of sensuality and frees himself of the control of the passions. The spirit of God and the spirit of the world, the flesh and the devil, cannot exist together in the soul. Whoever seeks to serve at once God and mammon is of those whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame, who are the enemies of the cross of Christ because they strive to destroy a fundamental principle of the Christian religion, namely self-denial. We must live in this world, says St. Francis de Sales, as if our spirits were in heaven and our bodies in the tomb. We must live a dying life and die a life-giving death in the life of our King and our most sweet Savior. This we do by self-denial. Yet the word self-denial fills the mind of some with terror, with thoughts of long fasts and of scourgings, of mental suffering and of bodily misery. These are they who mind earthly things. They cannot appreciate the necessity of self-denial because they are insensible to spiritual things. Their world is the region of the senses. They love their bodies and serve them with fidelity. They devote their time to the study of how they can get the most pleasure out of life. And they wander along with their probation, wondering why they find so little comfort for their pains. Self-denial does not consist in mere bodily mortifications. Fasting and other corporeal austerities are but means by which the animal man is brought to subjection. The real end of self-denial is that the soul may be the master of the man. St. John of the Cross tells us, There is great reason to lament the ignorance of some who burden themselves with indiscreet penances and with many other disorderly exercises of their own self-will, putting all their confidence in such acts and believing that they will become saints by means of them. If they would just but use half the same diligence in mortifying their unruly appetites and passions, they would make more advancement in a single month than in many whole years with all the other exercises. Be assured, says St. Francis of the Sales, that the mortification of the senses in seeing, hearing, and speaking is far more profitable than wearing even sharp chains or hair shirts. It ought to be our principal aim to conquer ourselves, and from day to day to go on increasing in spiritual strength and perfection. But above all, it is necessary to overcome our little temptations to anger, suspicion, jealousy, envy, duplicity, vanity, foolish attachments, and so on. For by doing so, we gain strength to resist more violent temptations. A man's chief care, then, ought to be turned within himself. For a man who governs his passions is master of the world. You must either command them or be enslaved by them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be back again in about a week with another one. But in the meantime, please check out my Facebook page, which is linked down below. Also, please check out the Ascent of Mount Carmel group, which is a study group of the book Ascent of Mount Carmel by St. John of the Cross. That's also linked down below. And please, pray for the church. Five minutes on the hour, every hour on the hour. Five minutes set aside for missing you. Five minutes on the hour, every hour on the hour, five minutes of the latest blues.